This is my second time visiting Acadia National Park. This time I decided to try it camping. Mountain Desert Island is the name of the town in the area. From Maine you come from over here. Here is my campground, Mount Desert Campground. Over here is like my favorite part of the park. I am at site 11A+. Plus. Here you come in from the road and as you come around you come to all these beautiful waterfront and I parked here and then that short distance, uh, yeah, that's been a bit of a trek for my gear. Ugh. Around the corner, it's on the sound, which means this little inlet of water. Right now it's low tide. And this is my tent, the Kelty Acadia 4. I see a little doggy in the tent. I've come with my dog, Millie. As soon as he arrived, the squirrel started driving Millie crazy. I haven't camped much. Uh, maybe the last time was the mullage rock video, actually. Um, since then, I've studied a little, so this is sort of like YouTube camping. I hope the videos I watch will help me do a better job. I managed to get the tent up. Now I'm going to try to start a fire and cook dinner. I'm going to try to use this pie iron. And cheese. Okay. And then the other piece. It's cool to hear the campfire, and it's cool to hear your neighbor's campfire crackling, sort of in the background. It's getting dark. 8 p.m. It's 5.30 in the morning. I went for a short walk because the dog is already wired. Something to eat, something to drink. Looking for a squirrel. Nice house is across the end of the sound where my campsite is and I've just woken up and there's a deer there just walking along. Here I am, I am at Acadia National Park. I have turned into Sir Dumont. Last year I didn't even come here because I thought it was no dogs, but it turns out it's no dogs for the wild gardens, but you can take your dog in the path. The particular path I'm eager to see is Jessup Path. We should have gone straight right there, but that little sign did say Jessup Path. It was beautiful but too rocky for Millie, so we decided to go back to the right side of the path. It is now 9 a.m. After a short break in the car, we are back again. This, up here, this is what I was looking to see. It's amazing and beautiful and I want to see it with my own eyes. Something about pathways tunes in with the brain. It's 
so pleasant. It's such an encompassing, obvious thing to do is walk down the path. Well, we just spent at least half an hour standing outside an owl's house. A bird tour guy asked me if I wanted to see an owl. Of course, I said yes. We couldn't see the baby owl well, but I did get one picture. Well, I did it again. I did that thing where I accidentally go on Park Loop Road instead of Great Free back to town. And then it was so beautiful, I kept going. I stopped to see what all of these people were looking at. I saw him as well, a peregrine falcon. We have spent a wonderful, exciting morning. Yeah, the squirrels. My tent is fluffing up in the wind. Then I brought some home some Mexi beans. Tent. Nice big view. Millie is watching the fire, keeping an eye out for squirrels, and she's also looking out in that direction where we know there's a German Shepherd two places over. It's uh, Monday evening, 517. It's about 60 degrees with a fairly strong wind. Low tide, just starting a fire. I would never think when the tide is full that this giant rock would be covered up. But sure enough, when the tide comes in, it goes almost to the tippy top. They are just walking along. My Girl Scout daughter, love you Julia, you're amazing, has taught me a much better way. You build a little house. So usually we lay a first layer. She puts her tiny twigs in a like, beautiful little floor. I just kind of put mine there. And she does not use, I have in here an egg carton and a little piece of paper. She goes all natural and uses like dried pine needles or, or paper, whatever, you know, like leaves. Around the outside you start building sort of a cabin wall, hopefully leaving some space for oxygen in between there. Get going fast. And then you kind of have to wait. You have to be patient. You can add something. Very small. Um, I like to add kindling as it goes from this stage up to being ready for a log. For tonight's dinner, I will be having chickpeas, Indian spice chickpeas, and a mini naan.
We enjoyed a colorful sunset, but it was not time to go to sleep. Okay, so this is a crazy video of darkness, but I am out here with my co-worker and we are going to photograph the Milky Way. Just setting the scene here in case I get any pictures out of this. Good morning. I see a deer. The plan for this morning is to take off early and head out for a walk or hike. Because last night I was out a little bit late taking photos, uh, which was neat to see the Milky Way here. I chickened out and came home a little bit early because I just get so tired that I feel unsafe. Out. I have a very strong homing beacon that says get in the sleeping bag. Alrighty, so it is Tuesday morning around 7 a.m. and I slept in until 6. That's not much of sleeping in, but it is at Acadia because the sun gets up earlier here, 4.50 right now, this time of year in early June. Basically you walk along this, sometimes along the road, sometimes along the path, with many, many little side trails out to the cliffs along the ocean. It's not thundering right now. There is like a cliff right here and so many boulders down there and just beautiful. The tide is Kind of low tide but coming in i believe and look at that little nook over there that's just amazing look at that Good girl, Millie. You're doing so good on our walk. Been walking 20 minutes. Nice and easy. Uh oh, a dog is coming. Maybe we can go. Oh, they're going to the side. Come on, you have to go this way. Good girl. Wow, look back at that. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. You can see Sand Beach. Do you see any tourists? Nobody. 7.30 in the morning, nobody. All the tour buses are at the restaurant. They all stick to the same time schedule. So all you have to do if you just want a little amazing peace and quiet, if you're introverted like me, is just come out at the right time of day. Oh, and look at those clips. Such a good girl. Oh, you are taking a good hike. Take a little break in the shade. So good. Ooh, the pine trees smell so good. I'm at this awesome spot walking along the ocean path. Just gonna walk a bit farther and then head back. And here's where we were last night. 
And I was so terrified that I had to go back early. And look, is it scary now? <laughs> Sassy doggies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I keep telling myself I'm going to walk all the way back to the car and stop stopping for photos and then look at that. Okay, that was a couple hours out on the ocean path. That was really one of the things I wanted to do. I'm so happy we did it. Beautiful weather, great walk. Dog's tired and it's time for a second cup of coffee. After our walk just came into town, I forgot how the stores allow dogs to go in. That's really neat. Early June is pine pollen season. See that white dust, yellowish, whitish dust on my car? From the trees, it's everywhere. The little squirrely. Millie is so tired. This is a perfect time for me to have a little cooking party with some of the ingredients I have not used on the trip. For example, cinnamon rolls. Let's try it. Bread, cooker, pie oven. Oof! Obviously. Oh my gosh, it worked. Needs a little more cinnamon. I better have another taste to make sure it's good. Mm. Gotta say, it's tasty. Have you ever used a pie iron to make an egg McMuffin? I'm going to try it. Should I use non or English muffin? I better be outside. Ah! Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. What? Okay, here is our egg sandwich experiment. This was the non. This was the English muffin. I should have sprayed. Ooh, it's hot, 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 hot. Mm. Little pepper. Mm. Give it a seven out of ten. The egg is cooked. The bacon has flavor. The cheese is good. Mmm. Mm. I just would eat any of this for breakfast or lunch or dinner. It's fun. My tent, brought a mattress, it's awesome. Two pillows, extra blanket, dog bed, all awesome. Is this your house? I wanted to photograph Bass Harbor Lighthouse at sunset, but the view where you see the sunset was closed. I took these pictures instead, then headed back to camp. At camp, I missed the sunset, but I did get to see the moon setting. Six fifty. This is my last morning, last low tide, and I see the deer too. <gasps> There's a baby deer. Oh, they're there.
There's the baby. I don't know if you can see very well. It's rather cloudy and shady. Oh my gosh, that is a tiny little deer. I wish I could, this is maximum zoom on my camera. We now come to that happy moment where the tent is empty and I get to take it down. Last night I could hear the rain and I was kind of worried like how am I going to get that terribly wet rain fly back in my car, back in the bag and you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going home today. I have come back to the Sardemont area near the Wild Gardens to walk Millie this morning. Um, it's around 8 o'clock now. It's different today. It's different. It's rainy. <laughs> you know she just wants to jump out of this path and run. But nope. Only looking. So beautiful. Millie loves meeting people on the trail. But she picks her favorite people and you qualify. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. There are all these serious photographers here. Quietly slowly, deliberately, silently setting up shots. I love it. I love the atmosphere. It's also funny because I come tromping through with this puppy like all the time knowing in the back of my mind that there's a baby owl just waiting. I just said hi to a lady on the path walking a dog and she randomly told me, by the way, the owlet is sitting out on a branch over the trail. There's a baby owl up there. That was pretty special. stopped in Bar Harbor to get a quick hot coffee and I am ready for the drive home. I got that cup of coffee headed toward the out of town but I could not pass by Cadillac Mountain. It's a drive up mountain. I got the coffee and couldn't resist Cadillac Mountain. Come here bear! Everywhere. 
There are clouds lower than where we are standing right now. That's pretty neat. Thank you so much, Acadia. It was a great trip.